I remember having a large supply of keys, a significant amount by any standard, especially a full beginner, but I only had one or two unusuals for sale, and these weren't big profit items. They were modest trades that, even if they sold quickly, only brought in a small profit. You might be experiencing this right now, holding a decent amount of pure, but not seeing the returns you expected. It's a common starting point in the trading journey, one where the excitement of having capital to trade is tempered by the slow realization that your strategy might not be as profitable as you hoped. Back in late September 2019, I had a moment of realization that would later change my entire approach to unusual trading. I was quick selling a smoking western wear, valued at around 13 keys. Sounds like a regular, right? But my backpack had a whopping 61 pure keys, just sitting there, unused, untapped in their potential to make more profit. What if I can't make use of my keys effectively? With 61 pure keys sitting idly in my backpack, the pressure to maximize the potential was immense. But there I was, making modest trades, barely scratching the surface of what could be achieved. Imagine you're sitting on a significant amount of pure keys, just like I was with 61. You're engaging in trade after trade, but you're just small transactions. Now ask yourself, are you truly leveraging the full potential of your resources? Think about it, you might be in the exact same situation, making safe, small trades, but not really maximizing what you have. This isn't just my dilemma, it's a challenge that many traders in the TFT community face. Your keys are a powerful tool in the world of unusual trading, and how you use them can be the difference between modest gains and significant profits. The reality is, if you're not using your keys effectively, each passing day you miss out on opportunities that make you miss out on more profit. Imagine the frustration of looking back on all those transactions, realizing that what you earned is just a fraction of what you could have made. I then had a conversation with a very experienced trader, and he gave me extremely valuable advice. I followed what he said, to be lazy. Picture this, there I was, previously hustling all day for trades, squeezing out a modest one to three keys profit per transaction. It was a grind, constantly on the lookout for deals, always in action. Then came the game changer. I listed my Scorching Flames attendant on Marketplace, a move that was more about strategic patience than the frantic trading I was used to. Fast forward two weeks and something incredible happened. The attendant sold, not for a small profit, not for a decent margin, but for a staggering 24 keys profit. That feeling was incredible, a burst of validation for the new approach I had adopted. Picture yourself making a significant profit, much like the 24 keys I earned from the Scorching Flames attendant, but with less effort, less stress. How would that feel? Think about the sense of accomplishment and the thrill of success, knowing that you've made a substantial profit, not by trying to be constantly active, but by being smart and patient with your trades. Now, let's head straight into the five-step framework to make more profit. Number one, be patient and try to sell for full price. This step is crucial and forms the foundation of a smarter trading strategy. The approach is simple yet powerful. List your unusual on backpack.tf classifieds, the Steam community market, or even better, on marketplace.tf. The key here is willingness to wait for good offers. A wise quote that still resonates today is, I'd rather wait three weeks for my hat to sell for a 40% profit margin than spend five hours on a trade server working my ass off for eight rev profit, only to make one mistake later, lose two keys, and have to repeat that eight rev profit a dozen times. This perfectly encapsulates the essence of being patient in trading. But there's more to this strategy than just waiting for the right offer. In the following steps, I'll delve into additional tactics that complement this approach, ensuring you're not just waiting, but also maximizing your trading potential in the most efficient way possible. Number two, aesthetic appeal. The look of your hat and its effect play a crucial role in not just setting the price, but more importantly, in determining its sellability. Remember, we're focusing on a strategy that values patience and efficiency. So the time it takes to sell your hat becomes a key factor when you're waiting for the right offer. Here's the deal. The more visually appealing an unusual hat is, the easier it is to sell. A great looking hat with an attractive effect naturally attracts more buyers, which means you can afford to be more lazy that is, you can list for full price and be pickier with offers. On the other hand, unusuals that are less appealing, perhaps due to less desirable effects or less popular styles, will inherently be harder to sell. These are the items you should be more proactive with, actively seeking out offers rather than waiting for buyers to come to you. This step is all about recognizing the inherent value of aesthetic appeal in your trading items. It's not just the rarity or the price. It's about understanding market demand based on visual appeal. The better your item looks, the more leverage you have to wait for that perfect offer. Number three, competition. In the realm of unusual trading, the level of competition you face can significantly impact your ability to sell and at what price. 
Understanding and navigating the competitive landscape is key to maximizing your profits. Here's a simple truth. If you're the only one selling a particular unusual hat, your chances of selling it quickly and at full price are much higher. You're in a position of power as buyers have limited options. On the other hand, if the market is crowded, especially with sellers undercutting each other, your chances of selling at full price diminish significantly. Now, here's a crucial piece of advice. Avoid undercutting others. It might seem like a quick way to make a sale, but it leads to a downward spiral where everyone ends up losing out on potential profits. Instead, match the price of the other person. This strategy not only helps maintain the item's value, but also encourages a healthier trading environment. Additionally, be quick to respond to offers to make sure that you're the one getting the good deal. Lastly, consider avoiding markets where there are too many sellers. Let's say three or more. In such scenarios, it becomes increasingly difficult to stand out and the pressure to undercut becomes greater, leading to reduced profits for everyone involved. Number four, look at past sales. A critical aspect of smart unusual trading is doing your homework on the item sale history. This step is about making informed decisions based on previous sales data to gauge the current market value of your items. Firstly, check out the price suggestions for the hat on backpack.tf. Pay close attention to recent sales data as this gives you a solid indication of what buyers are willing to pay. It's a valuable resource for understanding the current market dynamics for a specific item. Next, utilize the gladiator.tf time machine, which I've linked in the description. Although it currently isn't working, it will soon. This tool or script allows you to see if someone has previously tried selling the same item for less than your desired price. It's an excellent way to spot trends and adjust your expectations accordingly. Also, don't overlook sales on marketplace.tf. A useful tip here is to look at the sales price and then divide it by the price of keys on the site. This calculation will give you a more accurate understanding of the item's value in terms of keys, which is the current standard currency in TF2 trading. Remember, any sales within the past six months are particularly relevant. They reflect the most current market conditions and should be taken into consideration when setting your price. By analyzing past sales, you're arming yourself with knowledge that can help you avoid underpricing or overpricing your items. Number five, trade with players over traders. The final step in refining your unusual trading approach revolves around who you choose to trade with. This can make a significant difference in your profit margins and the ease of your transactions. Here's a key insight. Aim to trade with dedicated Team Fortress 2 players rather than those who are primarily traders looking for a quick flip. Why? Because dedicated players are often in search of specific items for their collection or gameplay. They value the item for what it is rather than just its potential for profit. As a result, they're more likely to pay your asking price or something close to it. Avoid spending too much time on trade servers, which are typically frequented by traders looking for deals. Instead, list your items on platforms like backpack.tf classifieds, marketplace.tf, steam community market, or even manco.store. These platforms have a broader audience, including many dedicated TF2 players who may be searching for exactly what you're offering. By listing your items on these platforms, you increase your chances of finding the right customer who is willing to pay a fair price. And the best part? You're achieving this with minimal effort, being lazy in a sense, but in a way that makes more profit. It's about working smarter, not harder, and finding the right buyer who values your item as much as you do. And that wraps up our guide on how to make more profit in unusual trading by being lazy, or rather, by being more strategic and efficient with your resources. Remember, trading isn't about constant activity. It's about making smart choices and waiting for the right opportunities. If you found these tips helpful, please hit the like button and consider subscribing for more insightful content. Don't forget to drop a comment, sharing your experiences or any additional strategies you found effective. And for more detailed insights and updates, hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching and here's to your success in the world of TF2 Unusual Trading. Stay smart, stay patient, and most importantly, stay profitable.